Over the past year, we've had a ton of people move here to Montana, and unfortunately, some people don't understand what it's like to live here or how you should act. So in this video, we're going to give you a little refresher course on living in Montana. So because we've had so many people move here, someone started a great Instagram page called Overheard in Whitefish. So if you're on Instagram, give that page a follow. It's a good laugh. And they were nice enough to allow me to use some of the material for this video. The locals around here have contributed some great things for this page. So let's start out with cars and the driving skills we've seen around town this summer. So we have this guy who's trying to hide the fact that he's from California. This may work in other states like Idaho, but it's not working here. Nice try. So this comment was overheard at one of the tire stores in June. I'm not sure where these people are from, but they're probably from a state that rhymes with California. So now let's take a look at some of the parking skills that we saw around town this year. I don't know about you, but they may have to up the standards on driving tests. So our friend here from Idaho apparently didn't feel the huge bump he got right before he put the truck in park. You guys are doing good! <laughs> no, they really aren't. They're having a little trouble with figuring out the lines. And this guy from Florida figured that if you park at an angle, you don't have to be a compact car. And I wasn't aware of this, but apparently if you shell out a hundred grand for a sprinter van, you can park wherever the hell you want. And apparently there was a contest to see who could take up the most parking spots on Central Avenue. And this guy's the leader in the clubhouse with five. Is that Charlie? I'm not sure if that's Charlie. And finally, some people in Montana think that if you need to stop and grab something out of your trunk, you can go ahead and do it right in the middle of an intersection. So now let's take a look at some of the valedictorians that have come to Montana. Hey, I got you on video! Yes, I see that. I'm not sure what could possibly go wrong here, but I sure hope this guy got a lot of likes on his Instagram story. So this lady had a huge revelation when she landed in Montana. Yes, we do have plumbing here. We just got it when they put the airport in. And these ladies were very impressed with all the nature here. I'm not sure if it was all the taxidermy in the lodge or if they drove past the deer on the way to Whitefish. And then there's this guy. Apparently he didn't get the memo on plumbing. Is that Charlie? Yeah, I think that is Charlie. We also had some athletes visit this summer. Can you believe these guys made it all the way to the top of Logan Pass while sitting on top of an e-bike? Look out Lance Armstrong, you have some competition. These people also had a hard time in school. Just FYI, when a lake is fed by snow melt and glaciers, it rarely gets up to 82 degrees. And some people, they weren't sure if they were in Montana or Utah. And here's a shout out to our visitors from Colorado. No discounts for you. FYI, guns are legal here in Montana, so you probably shouldn't do anything stupid up on the ski hill. Well, maybe you should just go back to Colorado. Montana isn't for everybody. So the rest of these posts are about bears and bear spray. And just another tip for you, you shouldn't use your bear spray as bug spray unless you enjoy extreme pain and discomfort. I wouldn't recommend it. And finally, I'm not sure if this girl realizes, but as soon as she gets done petting the bears, she will be the feed for the bears. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information, and don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.